All right, lesson 3.2. Um, actually, I'm gonna just take this down for a minute, and what I'm gonna do is write a couple definitions, or maybe I could write them up here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, for 3.2 is, so for tomorrow, because this is Wednesday, they'll make it for Thursday, uh, all you gotta do is complete the, the chart here, and then, um, on Friday, for those who are in class, we're gonna continue with 3.2, uh, which is the homework from the textbook. Um, so if you're gonna be in class on Friday, um, you could do the chart and the homework questions in class for the two and a half hours. If you're not here on Friday, which is cohort A, then do the chart on Thursday when you watch this video, and then I'll assign homework questions for 3.2 for Friday while you're at home. All right, so, couple of things that we need to do. We're gonna go through all these characteristics of polynomials. Polynomial functions. Okay, so first, let me put my markers here. So our first one is the degree, okay? So the degree is the highest exponent in simplified form. So it's just the highest exponent. Okay, and I'll just do this as we go, I'll do this one. Okay, so we have the equation here, x squared plus 4x minus 5. The highest exponent is 2. So our degree is 2. Okay, then we have even or odd degree. A little bit different than even and odd symmetry. This is even or odd degree. So as the actual degree, odd or even? Well, this is a 2, so then our degree is even. Okay, so the load leading coefficient, so coefficient, remember, it's the number in front of the variable. So um, the number in front of the variable, and we want the leading coefficient, so we want the number that's in front of the highest, um, in front of the degree. So here is where our highest number is, our degree is two. So the leading coefficient has to be in front of this number, or in, this, in front of this variable. So the variable here that's not written is one. So our leading coefficient here is one. Okay, end behaviors we've done. So as x goes to negative infinity, y and as x goes to positive infinity. So as x goes to uh, negative infinity, y goes to positive infinity. So y approaches positive infinity. And then x as x goes to positive infinity, y goes to positive infinity as well. Okay, then we have the number of turning points. So the turning point is when it changes direction on a graph. So I'm gonna write this up. Points on a graph are the function changes direction. Points on a graph where the function changes direction. changes direction. Okay, so for this one, the if we read left to right, so the quadratic here, so the part of the parabola is decreasing up into this point here, and then after this point, it increases. So it goes decrease, now it changes directions, and goes increasing. So this has one turning point. Okay, so it's the points where the graph changes direction or the function changes directions. Um, and I want to do one more. One more definition this doesn't have here. Uh, definition is absolute, sorry, absolute this point here, which is the lowest possible point on a graph is called the absolute max or min. Okay, so the, the absolute max or uh, min is where it, the graph has the highest point or the maximum. Where is the maximum point? Where is the minimum point? So in this case, this would be a lap absolute minimum, but if the, if the quadratic was upside down, it would have an absolute max value, okay? 
But what about areas like this one? Okay, so this graph has an absolute maximum at this point here, which is positive 2. So it has a maximum height at positive 2. But then it kind of has another point here. It's kind of a maximum 2 because it's higher than all these at this point here. But it's not the highest point, as no, and nor is it the lowest point on the whole graph. This one is called a local max or min. Okay, so we're going through examples. So the absolute highest point or the absolute lowest point um, is where the graph, there's nothing lower or higher than it. But then there are bends in the graph where it kind of is, could be a max or min, but there's points higher than it and there's points lower to, than it. So this point here is called a local max or minimum. Okay, so it's not the highest or lowest point, so, but it's a local one. So in that area, if you took away this, this would be the lowest the lowest point in this range. So it's a minimum, uh, a local minimum, but based on the whole graph, it's not a minimum or maximum. Okay, so let's go through. Let's go through another example. Okay, let's do D. Let's do D together. So D, again, the first one was the degree. So we look at the highest exponent. So the highest exponent for this one is four. Okay, is it even or odd? Well, it's even, four is an even number. So we have an even degree. Then the next one is the leading coefficient. So that's the number in front of the variable with the highest number. So in this case, it's three. So our leading coefficient is three. Three. Okay, as x approaches negative infinity, y goes to positive infinity. As x goes more and more positive, y gets more and more positive for here. So y goes to positive infinity as well when x approaches positive infinity. And the last column, how many turning points do we have? Well, it comes decreases here, hits this point, then it increases, so that's one. Then it increases, hit this point, and then goes down. And then it goes down to this point, and then goes up. So one, two, three turning points. Three turning points. Okay, let's do one last one. I'm going to find an odd one. Okay, let's do here E. That's our last one we're going to do. So again, the degree, it's blurry here, it's a 3. Okay, that means it's odd, so it's an odd number. Our leading coefficient is 1. As x goes to negative infinity, y goes to negative infinity. So as x goes more and more negative, y goes more and more negative. As x goes to pause infinity, or x just keeps increasing, um, our y increases as well. So y approaches pause infinity. And lastly, how many turning points do we have? We have one and two. All right, so that's the concludes the lesson, but I want to touch base on one of them. Uh, for this one here, uh, debates, I've had this before, kids are asking, well, does this have any turning points? So by the definition, it has to change direction, so going from decreasing to increasing. I don't know if this ever goes to increasing, it kind of goes down, kind of goes flat, and then down again. So I don't know if this changes direction. So for turning points for this one, I would put zero. Um, you can argue maybe two, but I would probably put zero for this one. Okay, so what you guys are working on is, I want you to finish the chart, and I think the homework's at the bottom. 
So I want you to finish the heart, the chart, and then I want you to go through these letters here on page 129. Okay, so from the chart, you should see some patterns. Some patterns with regards to an odd function and an even function. With regards to the end behaviors, with regards to the turning points, um, with regards to um, their end, behavior, yeah, end behaviors and turning points, okay? So I want you to go through some of these, ask you to kind of find those, those um, patterns. So please go through these, okay? So um, on Thursday, so when you guys watch this video, um, if none of you guys will be in class, but for those who come in Friday, if you wanna kind of do this and then leave your questions when you come Friday, you can. Um, but, or you guys can finish this Thursday. And then Friday, um, Friday is the second part of the lesson. I'm not gonna do a new lesson, but the questions are gonna be page 136, numbers one to eight and 10. Okay, so the first part of 3.2 is to complete the chart and to finish these. On Friday, the homework will be page 136, one to eight and 10. All right, if I don't see you, have an excellent weekend, which is in a couple days.